Thank you, Terry. If you went to the Blue Bombers game on Friday or you were watching it on TV, then you probably saw a guy in the stands pumping up the crowd and removing shirt after shirt and throwing them at fans. Cameron Hughes is that guy and he calls himself the king of cheer and a crowd igniter. Joining me now is the king of cheer himself, Cameron Hughes. Good morning, Cameron. Michelle, it's so great to be with you this morning. And all of you people in Winnipeg, oh, was Friday night fun? We got it going. Let's go. Come on. Well, you know what? That's exactly what you were doing at the game on Friday. I was, in fact, I was there. And I saw you in the stands and I was like, what's he doing? And then you took shirt after shirt after shirt off. That's your thing, right? Were you scared for your life or were you no. like, okay, this is going to work out okay? I thought you were a Winnipegger that just got out of control. I mean, I'm a Canadian that got out of control, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I go to sport events around the world and, you know, bring the fun, uh, ignite the crowd. I mean, the funny thing is a lot of people say to me, like, well, they don't, do they need you at the game? It's not like they needed me. I mean, obviously the Bombers fans are awesome, but it's more like let's show fans something different. Let's. Let's give them more and let's have a look. You know, we're going to have fun, but let's take it to another level. Yeah. And you know what? The crowd, you had them going. They were quite excited. They weren't really sure what was going on. You gave out how many shirts on Friday? Uh, definitely over 100 and something. You know, I wish I had 30,000 shirts, maybe one night. But uh, <laughs> yeah, nobody wants the last shirt at the end of the night. That's for sure. <laughs> I, I, you know, it was, uh, it's a big stadium you've got there. <laughs> well, it is. And not only that, we were wondering how many more you had under there. And you just kept going and going and going. So is this is it difficult to wear all those shirts at the same time? Well, I, you know, on, on off season, I train on how to take them off without them all coming off, if you know what I mean. Um, when you're in the moment, I mean, anything can happen. You know, that's sort of the magic of it all. Um, at one point, I was in the middle of the stadium, and this woman came up, and she wanted a shirt. And I'm like, well, you're going to have to earn it. And I made her take it off me, and the crowd loved it, you know. I'm all about just pushing it a bit, you know, like knowing that people want to have fun and try to take it to the next level. Yeah, well, okay, let's take take us back to the beginning. How did you even start this job? Uh, I'm from Ottawa. Um, you can't call it a job, by the way. Um, I was, I'm from Ottawa. I was at an Ottawa Centers game in 1994, do the math, a few years ago. And you'll never guess who they were playing. They were playing the Winnipeg Jets. Oh. I was kind of taking the year off to find myself. <laughs> and I was at the game with my buddy, and there was no one cheering. It was the first, second year of the Senators. They weren't very good. I got up in the third period, eight minutes to go, and I was like, we've got to do something. I started to dance. The crowd's like, oh, my God, what's he doing? I didn't have any T-shirts or anything. <laughs> and then the crowd loved it. And I kept dancing that night, and they came up to me after the game and said, hey, do you want to come back and, and do it? I'm like, what do you mean, do what? They're like, just get the crowd going. And then I started doing it in Ottawa and then Toronto. And then I, you know, I've done like 1600 events in 10 countries now around the world. And, you know, it's, it took a lot to get here. Like, it's not like it just suddenly happens. Um, but every time you get that, yes, where a team says, let's do something different for our fans. Let's uh, provide, a, you know, value entertainment. Yeah. How lucky am I to be part of that? Okay. Well, we're known as the loudest crowd here in Winnipeg. Would you agree? Oh, I mean, at the Bombers game? Yeah. It was unbelievable. I I, I I, knew everyone said it's going to be really good, but it was like, it was next level. And everyone was, I'm not just saying this because, you know, but so nice. Like there was, everyone was just like, people were like, hey, can we buy you a beer? I'm like, I kind of, not right now, actually, I got to do my thing. <laughs> we all, awesome. I also noticed you were staying close to Dancing Gabe as well. I saw a dancing game during the game. Yeah, we've met over the years at, uh, you know, Moose and Jets games, and uh, I have a close relationship with him. He's even in my book. Got a little story about him. Yeah, tell us about your book. Oh, my book. Oh, that's so weird you ask. Um, I wrote this little book uh, during the pandemic. It's called King of Cheer. Uh, it's just story, short stories from my career, how I started, you know, magical moments from, you know, performing in the NBA, U.S. Open, you know, Belfast Giants, all these sort of weird stories. And I have a lot of different people that contributed anecdotes and quotes. And um, I'm coming out with an audio book in August. So I'm Fine. really excited about that. Okay, so this was your first Bombers game, right? Yes. Any plans to come back? I mean, what do you think? <laughs> I would love it. And next time you're in the city, you have to come to our studio and do the whole thing right here. We'd love to see you. I mean, are you a good dancer? Are you a good t-shirt twirler? I could be. I could be. A little bit of training. You'll have to yeah, do some tips. It just starts with that first 
you get that shirt in your hand and then suddenly like nothing will stop you. You just you keep <laughs> going, you know what I mean? Yeah. There you go. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Cameron, and thank you thank for you. entertaining us on Friday. We really, really loved it. And thank you to all the Winnipeg fans. It was awesome. It's awesome to see you today. Thank you.